So we took a few days off from videoing and just enjoyed sailing, catching mahi and anchoring in the Exumas as a family. We recently left Black Key for a six hour sail in Exuma Sound where I caught mahi on this little guy. And we had a peaceful entrance into the Exuma Banks via Galliot Cut, a fast flowing but wide and gentle experience. And now we're back with you, island hopping north from Oven Rock to Pipe Key, and then to Wardrick Wells. Good morning, everyone. We are here in the Exumas on the bank side. We've got a couple of days of beautiful sailing ahead of us and some great snorkeling. We're looking forward to it. It's gonna be so much fun. Sailing? Yeah, you wanna go sailing? You wanna go snorkeling? All right, we have the main up. You can hear it rattling. About to pull the anchor and got mid-teens for wind. It's gonna be a great sail. Really good sail today, looking forward to it. We're the Fosters, Matt, Nancy, Olivia, and Mocha. This is Cadence, our home and philosophy, the balance and rhythm we seek. We sold our stuff back in 2020 and just started full-time travel last year. Welcome to our episodes, where we are currently exploring the Bahamas. If you're new here, smash that subscribe button. Well, Matt caught fish yesterday, and a couple days ago I made some fresh salsa. So we thought, what is a better way to eat fish and salsa than on tacos? So I'm making some homemade flour tortillas. It's a little recipe we came up with that we really like. It's gonna be delicious. So one of the things I really love about just sailing on my bright, sunny days is I'm not working. What that means is, <laughs> obviously, but what else that means for our battery bank is my video editing laptop consumes a lot of wattage and so it's not consuming that wattage when we sail. Instead, we've got the solar and we're just creating wattage, right? Look at this. So now uh, we'll get to the anchorage. We've got a good solid charge on the batteries. And um, nothing to worry about. It's lovely. Anyway, it's been a great sale. I'm looking forward to eating these tacos here in a minute. Uh, those tortillas smell so good. Um, from up here, they just smell great. I'm gonna grill the mahi in just a minute. It's gonna be good stuff. Good times. Hey, time for those mahi to go on. Got two mahi fillets from yesterday's catch. Using a little steak seasoning here, a little salty, savory. That's gonna be good. Tacos in a few, and we're about to hit the anchorage, so it's been a great, great day. And I haven't seen Olivia all day. I don't know where she is. Maybe she fell off the boat. Maybe I'm holding a camera. It's about time you came out. Thanks for holding the camera, babe. No problem. All right, looking forward to eating this. We got a good snorkel coming up. <sighs> the first bite of Taco Tuesday on a Wednesday. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> how is it? How is it? So since I don't eat fish, mom made us uh, red beans as well. So it's red beans, cheese, and salsa today. You got a bean meat taco here. How's that? Is it good? Mm -hmm. Looks good. And the little beggar. Nothing for you. 
Yeah, here we go. I mean, she didn't get dog food. Yeah, you know, we're not starving. She's not starving. How is it? Best taco ever. Best taco ever. <laughs> yeah. We've, um, we're like just two miles away. Maybe a mile and a half now. <clears throat> but the wind has slowed for us, so we're just like moving like at a knot and a half, maybe two knots of speed now. <laughs> so. It feels like we're on anchor, but we'll still, we'll st you know, we're still making headway. Nice and calm for the uh, lunch. You did a great job on the tortillas. Thanks. Best ever. And if you save some dough, we can have some sopias tonight. Already done. All right. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Ready to jump in though. It's getting nice and warm, and uh, we got some good snorkeling to do. But but first, we're gonna knock this out. Coming to our first anchorage tonight, um, kind of surrounded by rocks and should be a few coral heads. Uh, we're about to drop the hook and jump in the water though. It's a, uh, gosh, it's such a swing pool. This, this water just never gets old. It's gorgeous. We're often asked, are you going to get a catamaran? <laughs> no. We're happy with what we have and where we're at. This is where Cadence excels. She's an ocean-rated cruising sailboat, but I believe she was designed with island hopping in mind. Shoal draft, not too much beam, lead ballast. She gobbles up the wind and waves we see here in the Exumas. And she's a super comfortable platform when we arrive at anchor for lunch. This little buddy is a thimble jellyfish. It's a tiny jellyfish with short tentacles. They're less than an inch in size and cause no stings to us. However, if you swim through a larvae cloud of them, the larvae attach to your skin. When you get out of the water, the larvae die and the underdeveloped tentacles prick into your skin, causing an itchy rash known as sunbather's eruption. See like jellyfish all around us. I panicked. I panicked. I mean, they're they were everywhere, and then I realized they don't really come up to the surface, and I stay on the surface, and they stay right below me. Pretty cool, Mr. Stingray came right on us. What'd you think? Oh my God, that was my favorite part. I loved it, it was so cool. Yeah? So cool. I've not seen one that big before. Yeah, and um, I saw this sea turtle swing by. 
Tried to go around and get it, look closer at it, right? But he just took off. He didn't want to be messed with. So anyway, we're at a new uh, a new rock here. There's some coral heads. Man, that was a good dive. I'll tell you what, we're having a good time. There's a nice cool breeze blowing through the boat. Livy's playing some video games. Some Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Pirates. Flag. They're, uh, she's sailing this vessel in, in Havana. So it's kind of a nice relaxing evening. I don't even know what we're gonna have for dinner, but I'm starving after that swim. All right, well, I guess I'll just talk to myself. Goodbye. Coming up, we take another island hop to our final destination in the Bahamas, Wardrick Wells, arguably the most pristine location in all of the Exumas. After that, we leave the Bahamas for our hurricane hole and tackle some much needed end of season repairs, projects, and upgrades. But that all will have to wait until next time. Thanks for watching. You helping? Song and song